What's up everybody, it's your boy Jun back at it again with a new video. For today I thought I'd share a little bit about myself. And for those of you guys that may not know, um, I'm a Christian. And as Christians like to call it, I was born into the church. Basically meaning, ever since I was born, I started going to church. My mom took me out to church. So I thought I could make a fun and interesting topic that is not only relatable to fellow Christians, but I also wanted to make it relatable to non-Christians who may have Christian friends or who have just witnessed some of these things when they growing up. Alright, so let's jump right into today's topic of five signs you grew up a Christian. To start us off in something worth mentioning, and I can only speak for myself, but if you're a Korean American, chances are that you grew up going to church as well. It's interesting because almost every single Korean slash Korean American I've met growing up, they all went to church at least at some point in their life. And I've come to think that it's almost like a cultural thing to be Korean American and go to church. Don't take this the wrong way, but for all my Korean Christians out there especially, I know a lot of us have made the same mistake of where when we meet a fellow Korean, we automatically assume that they go to church and we start off by asking what church they go to without even first confirming if they go to church or not, period. Yo, what's up, Jeremy? My name is Jim. Nice to meet you. Um, so, Jeremy, what church do you go to? Oh, I actually don't go to church. I'm not a Christian. Oh, you don't go to church? Oh, no, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Alright, this one is my personal favorite, but finding ways to sneak in a prayer before you eat. Every single one of you guys are guilty of this. I especially am. I did this all the time growing up in school, especially during school lunches when I would sit with my friends. Um, so I want to highlight some of the popular go-to moves and the best ways to sneak in a prayer. Oh, you got that Asian stuff again? Same way. <laughs> sure you're all packed that PB&J? You know, the usual, the usual. You gonna eat? Yeah, yeah, um, uh, actually my eye is a little, something's in my eye. Yeah. Uh, dear God, thank you for this food, amen. Oh no, I dropped my napkin. Ah, uh, dear God, thank you for this food, amen. Alright, let's For the most part, most Christians go to church on Sundays. The day, Sunday, has a lot of meaning behind it. There's a lot of different meanings and a lot of different uh, values. And Sunday is a day to do a lot of different things. Okay, let me explain myself. For example, Sunday is a great day to wear your freshest and your newest outfit. <laughs> hey, don't act like when you buy a new outfit, when you buy that new dress, you can't wait to wear it to church so that you can strut into church and just be like... And when Christians compliment each other, instead of saying like, oh, you're so hot, you're so sexy, they kind of work around it and they love saying these phrases. Ooh, girl, that dress is, mm, you make me stumble right now. June, don't look, don't look. That, that dress is going to make you stumble hard. Ooh, I can't, mm. And another great example is that on Sundays, for me, I looked forward to going out to eat every Sunday. I know some of you guys might be like, ooh, that's so much money. But there's a very, very good reason why so many Koreans went out to eat every single Sunday. If you went to a Korean church, chances are you had this on a weekly basis. Yes, rice, bean sprout soup, and kimchi. So yes, I would much rather have a Big Mac. <laughs> and while we're on the topic of eating, especially when you're at a gathering with all Christians, we can all relate to the classic, first bite says grace. Oh, you guys are eating? Yo, this looks delicious. Ah, first bite says grace. All right, you're right, you're right. All right, let's pray. Father God, thank you, Father God, for this food, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for these people, Father God. And thank you, Father God, that you are Father, Father God, and our God, Father God. We pray in Jesus' name, Father God. Amen, Father God. Amen. 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 Anyway, so if you grew up a Christian, chances are that one of your parents is a Christian. And these first generation parents are no joke, man. They, they wake up at five in the morning to pray every day. I mean, they're hardcore. So with that said, whenever I would tell my mom that I'm dating a girl, or not even dating, maybe just interested in a girl, 
the first thing she always has to ask every single time is, does she go to church? Is she a Christian? Does she love Jesus? Is she saved? Does she pray? How many times a day does she pray? All right, guys, that was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had a lot of fun making it. If you guys like what you saw, please subscribe. I'm gonna keep trying to come out with more and more content. And if at any time you guys have any suggestions or ideas that you guys want me to talk about, please comment below or send me a message. I would love some more ideas. All right, till next time. Peace.